Hey guys, this is William. In today's video, we're going to be doing an SEO audit for a tree service company. What? That's right, we're doing an SEO audit for a tree service company. So without further ado, let's dive right in. It's easy to see when you look at me. So in this audit for this local tree service company, there are some basic things I'm gonna look for. I'm gonna show you some of the plugins that I use. I'm gonna show you some of the steps. But overall, I'm gonna give you some hacks that you can use. Nice. Number one, if we're looking at this site, I do like the fact that you got this here, All Pro Huntsville Tree Service. You got the keyword inside of the domain as well, as well as the location. That's what I prefer most of the time, um, unless you're specifically dealing with the brands and you can't do that. Let's go down through here. You do have some internal linking going on using the keywords, using the locations. You have your images. Overall, looks like a nice website. Um, let's see, as far as contact information, you got your GMB embedded. For whatever reason, I don't see your GMB embedded here. This is just the location. I know you got a GMB because I already ran the report for it. Um, you do not have any of your reviews embedded as a text review or as a widget review. Um, your widgets that you can normally install on a WordPress website, you can easily put that in here. I am the one, the way your son don't need um, if you ever wanted to see, you know, does someone have, if you will, WordPress or whatever, just right click view source it's going to pop open and we can see that it is definitely wordpress okay inside the code oh my god wow also a lot of times people will put these forms up here these forms in my opinion are honestly a waste of time depending on your niche when i'm looking for an emergency tree repair or, you know service to come out and cut down a tree after a storm or some really bad rain I am not going to want to fill out a form. I'm going to want to immediately call someone and get a hold of them. So I do see that you have your phone number up here. It is click to call, which is awesome. Let's go over to contact us page, see if you got your GMB embedded there as well. You haven't had it on your home page and you don't have it on your contact us page. Let's go back through some of this and see if uh, the rest of this is done correctly. I just am looking for little common issues that normally pop open. Okay, you definitely have your Facebook, you have your Twitter, you have your YouTube, which is cool. Um, your YouTube channel is not optimized, I can tell right off the bat. Okay. I mean, you don't have any subscribers. Let's look at the video real quick, I'm gonna pause it. Yeah, this is not the way I would normally <laughs> you know set up my stacks when I do a YouTube video I have a very specific way and this is definitely not it so let's go back so as far as SEO there's this plugin I like to use right up here and it's basically going to show me for example you know is it got your h1 headers does it got your h2 headers it is called SEO meta in one click right and what this does is I can just click at it, look at the headers, and it shows wow. me okay, your H1 header is All Pro Huntsville Tree Service. You got a second H1 header, which is called All Pro Huntsville Tree Service offers the most efficient tree services, which is down here. There's no reason ever to have more than one H1. Ever. Ever. Okay? Um, so we want to fix that. That's one of the first fixes I would do. Your internal linking looks pretty good. Your internal linking, your keywords, as well as your area. So like right here, you got Huntsville, Alabama, that's internally linked. Let's see what this goes over to. Is it going over to a location page or not? Um, no, it is not. Um, if this is what you're setting up as your location page, this is not a location page. Location page should have things to do, places to go, driving directions, bus stops. There's many things that you can put on here which will make Google go, oh, this is not duplicate content. This is not a doorway page, okay? You don't want Google to have an excuse to de-index this page or to not index, <coughs> to basically not index at all, 
or even penalize you and give you a man limb penalty because it's duplicate content. By duplicate content, I mean it's basically the same exact content that's on your homepage. There's nothing different really between it and that. Okay, you need to have it changed. As far as your service pages, we're gonna go through there. You may or may not have enough content. Let's take a look. So as far as your word count, your word count here is only 676. That's not gonna be good enough. Um, tree removal is spammy, but not that spammy. It's not as spammy as locksmith or something like that. But as far as your content, you need to be, be doing around 1,500 words. Uh, that's what I usually try to go for. Um, but besides the time we're done, I'm gonna show you what your actual competition is doing. Because we wanna base everything we're doing off of what your competition is doing, not just off of you know, what the SEO talking heads wanna tell you. You gotta do this, gotta have these backlinks and all this other BS, okay? Once again, not that much content. You need more content, right? If I was to select all your content and I go, this is Word Counter Plus, it's a plugin, you only have 703 words of content. Most of your content on all these pages um, are basically the same way. Tree removal, tree service, etc. cetera. Um, seven, 800 words, it's not really gonna be good enough. Let's go to About Us page. On your About Us page, you know, generally it can be bios, if you're, you know, depending on about the company, about the owners, stuff like that. There's really not much on this page. You know, you wanna write something that's gonna separate you from the other tree service repair companies out here. Another thing you may wanna consider doing, which I like doing, is giving away free reports, uh, free eBooks, free guides, basically on before you hire, for example, before you hire a tree service wow. repair company, here's the things to look for. And they give you their email address so they can get their report. And now you got your email list and then you can build up, if you will, your follow-up email sequence and start driving and warming up some leads or people that are interested in your services and they'll either use you or refer you to their friends. So let's go ahead and look at your competition. So your competition, you, you know, one of your big ones is right here is All Star Service. You know, as we can see, they have all these cities. They got all these services that they do. They got their reviews up here. They got their social media up here, careers page up here. Let's see if I can see a site map. I like seeing site maps uh, because it's going to tell me pretty much how many pages they have, if I can get it. If not, I mean, you could, yeah, it's not going to find me that way. But let's see if it's at the bottom. A lot of times people will put them at the bottom of their website. And no, they did not put it at the bottom of their website. All right, but nevertheless, if you look at their website, they got, just based off of this, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all their location pages and let's look at their location pages how they have it set up so you know kind of what they're doing videos unavailable i don't like this this is still not to me a service location page <laughs> their blogs one of the reasons why i look at the site map is i can look and see how many blogs they have and um, I can actually clone and copy their titles and then based off of that have blogs rewritten based off of their subjects. Because what I'm trying to do is find the top three people that are inside of the Google Maps, duplicate and clone whatever they're doing that's working and beat them at their game. Now if I click on reviews, it's taking me to a review page, Google+, uh, Facebook, Yelp, etc. But if I look at, just for example, let's go to tree removal. It's not a lot of content, but they do have a lot of pages, okay? So what we're gonna wanna do is add more content via pages. Now, besides that, let's go over here to your actual audit. You have some errors, but it's not like desperately crazy or anything. 
You got some 400 status codes. We can fix that rather easy. Wow. You have some your resources in, in restricted from indexing. We want to check that. You got only one broken link. So overall, your website's not bad as far as technical SEO. I would mainly suggest that you get more content. Right content, right structure. You got a URL that has the main city and keyword in it, which I love. As far as your exposure on the internet, you only have 25% visibility. That means between Google, Google Maps, and Google Mobile, and Yahoo slash Bing, you're only being seen about 25% of the time in the searches. Okay, what type of searches? Well, searches for keywords, you know, inside of Google for this exact keyword, this exact keyword. You know, if it's your brand, they're going to find you. But if any of these other ones, you're on page two. Okay. So we want to fix that. We want to get your rankings up. To nice. This is for your organic rankings. And also, if we go into your maps, according to your brand, if I looked up your brand, I'd find you. Your URL, I'll find you. But if I look up tree trimming in Huntsville, you're at number six. That's good news. It's a way I can get you up there rather quick. But if I look up just tree services, you're not found. Tree stump grinding, you're not found. All those real powerful keywords, you're not being found, okay? Um, let's go over here. As far as your main competitors, it's Bam and Bob's Tree Service and All Star and JCC. Really, you're not that far away from being in the top. You're down here in the top 10. I would need three months or less and I can get you in the top 10. Okay, um, it would cost you $250 a month, and I could definitely get you in the top three. And then if you're not in the top three, by the time I'm done with it, I guarantee it. And if we're not, I work for free, my staff works for free until you're in the top three. <laughs> so, I hope this video is informative. I hope you maybe contact me if you have any questions. I'm going to send these reports over you. Just email me back and I'll answer any questions you have and glad to help you. I'm going to send over my recommendations to you as well. Until next time, you have a great day and be blessed. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top, most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil, shout fuck the SEO guys. White hat SEO doesn't make sense, going with the goody goodies. Up in heaven, dressed in white, I like black Tims, I like black hoodies. Fake SEOs.